For my family, gotta build a legacy. I'ma be the man when I'm dead. Work too hard, I can't slip up, so I'm clutching tight on this lid. Hey, what's up, everybody? CW Entertainment back with another MLB The Show 21. We're back with our New York Mets franchise. We are in the playoffs right now. If you guys didn't check out that last video, link is in the description and in the playlist, so you guys can always check that out. Play this link also in the description. So, yeah, last time out, yeah, we ended up simming the rest of the regular season, and we ended up coming all the way to the postseason where we are taking on the Atlanta Braves. The Braves have won their wild card matchup against the Philadelphia Phillies, so we had three teams from our division that made the playoffs, and honestly, very surprised the Braves did end up making it on the um, AL side. Boston and the Angels faced off in the wild card. The Angels did advance. So we have yet to see what has happened in the American League. Um, National League-wise, Milwaukee did take game one from the Dodgers. So, you know, we'll go ahead and send through on this date just to kind of see what happened and see if there was anything else. And it looks like the American League has still yet to play. So we'll go ahead and pretty much just go ahead and hop into our game. Over the Braves, we've got game number two where Noah Syndergaard will be taking the mound for us. And you guys did see that last video. Spoiler alert, I mean, if you haven't seen it. No Syndergaard ended up winning the Cy Young Award. So, very, very confident with him going into here. So, we'll see, you know, we can take care of the Braves, no problem. Get a 2-0 lead and then hopefully just win one more going to Atlanta. Let's hop into this game. It's your home for postseason baseball. It's game two of the NLDS between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in game two. Yeah, this is just a five game series, so getting that first win under you is great. The most important game of a series, though, is the next one you're about to play. So treating this game like it's absolutely critical is a good way not to get too comfortable with your lead. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Noah Syndergaard is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Well, it wasn't last season that Syndergaard ended up winning the Cy Young Award. It was this season, and we're going to see what he can do. Willie Castro up to bat. He'll take a first pitch strike with that sinker. Not what we wanted. We wanted it much lower than that, but he'll take the first pitch. That's fine. We know last time out, Castro, man, he ended up having like a nine pitch at bat. It really ran up, uh, I'm not saying, I was about to say Syndergaard, but really ran up DeGrom's pitch count early. DeGrom was able to batter back pretty well. And we're in there for strike number two. Now we got to find a way to put him out. And let's see if we can get one by him with the four seamer. Trying to bust him up inside on the 0 2. Syndergaard, can he get a three pitch strikeout? No, a little too high. And that one will be grounded. Pete Alonso easily able to tag first base on that one. That'll be the first out. Castro yet again. Running up pitch counts when we're not asking for it. And then NCRT up to bat, batting 375 so far this postseason. I believe he went either two for three or three for four against us in that last game. Definitely a tough out. Hopefully we can find a way to get him here. He's in a favorable 1 0 count, but we get in there for strike number one on NCRT. And Syndergaard looking for this punch out here. The one, two, he's gonna get him on a beautiful curveball down below the knees. See you later, Syndergaard gets strikeout number one. And it becomes, and it comes of Enciarte. We'll take it. I'll bring up Freddie Freeman. Yet to get a hit so far this postseason. We like to keep it that way as we get in there for strike number one. Inside on that sinker got a favorable call, but we're not complaining. Yeah, let's see if we can get Freeman on the same pitch we got Enciarte. The one, two is gonna be a base hit. For Freddie Freeman, it's going to be an easy double. Gurriel having to get all the way out there to the wall. And it's going to be a, a two-out double. For Freddie Freeman in his first base hit of the 2021 postseason. And that's going to bring up Ronald Acuna. And they are looking for that put-away pitch. Another one-two to Acuna. He's going to get him on a great changeup. Had Acuna way out in front on that one. We will gladly take it. And it remains a 0-0 ball game as we strand a runner at second base. Atlanta does get the first hit of the ball game, and it comes to Freddie Free. 
Jordan Montgomery will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. And Jeff McNeil will lead us off versus Jordan Montgomery. McNeil had a fantastic game versus the Braves yesterday and Max Freed and company. Two home runs. Hopefully he can give us something pretty good today as he's batting 500 so far. And a one-two count, but yeah, we face off pretty well versus lefties as we strike out right here on that one. And nearly the lefty himself, so that lefty-lefty matchup. But yeah, let's see if we can, you know, figure out if we can get something going. We do have Francisco Lindor in the lineup. There's another guy out of the lineup that you guys will see. It's actually not going to be Javi out. Javi is out there in the field. We're going to get J.D. Davis the day off. Uh, wasn't the best first game for Davis, but I wanted to get Lindor in his lineup. Figured, you know, we mix it up a little bit. And you guys can see the lineup right here. Pete Alonso coming up batting third from four to a fourth cleanup spot. Guriel in left field. Randy Rosarino Javi at third base batting seventh. McCain at eighth. And, of course, our pitcher Syndergaard batting ninth. And here's Pete Alonso. Only had one base hit in that last game, but it was a nice one. He sent one over that wall, smoked it. Had no clue. It was pretty much just a line drive home run. He's able to get it up out of here. So let's see what he can do here with two outs in a 1-0 count. And he'll ground this one over to the third baseman. And Moncada's going to throw him out. So a quick first inning for us. Nothing brewing. Here we go 1-2-3. Let's head to the second inning. And that is a perfect hit for Ozuna. That'll be the second base hit of the ball. And both belonging to the Braves. And that one was smoked out there. We are lucky that slider did not have any height on it. Can Syndergaard battle back from 3-0 to get the strikeout on Yohan or the double play? Ball will take the strikeout. See you later, Moncada. 3-0 count to a, three, to a strikeout. We'll take it. We'll take that all day, every day. Third strikeout of the day for Syndergaard. Looking for another good pitch right here. The 0-2 will take a strikeout if we can get it. And we'll get it on the sinker. He clocked that sinker at 100. Syndergaard is feeling pretty good right now. And we can see... There have been some movement over in the American League and in the National League. The Dodgers have tied it up 1-1. They will be going to a game four. The Yankees have gotten the win over the Twins. And the Astros have taken advantage of their game number one. And got out to a 1-0 lead over the Angels. Ozzy Albies up to bat now. We would love to be able to just keep them off and have them lead off of their pitcher. And hopefully get an easy first out in the top of the, uh, yeah, the, top of the third. Is all because it's an 0-2 hole. Syndergaard looking really, really good since striking out Moncada. The 0-2 to Albies looking for the K. He's going to get it. See you later. Gave up a leadoff hit and then just struck out the rest of the batters. We'll gladly take it. Great stuff right there. Syndergaard showing why he was the side Young Award winner. Welcome photo in a 1-2 hole here. He had a really good first game in this series. Let's see if he can keep things rolling. And we are going to get a perfect hit. It's going to hit off the glove of the shortstop. Conforto still gets beat by the throw. I don't think he was hustling down that line. I think he realized he was going to get the ball caught like Willie Castro had it, but it knocked off his glove or knocked off his wrist somewhere. And that's not, that's going to be a perfect base hit out. Well, not base hit, but it's just going to be a perfect hit out. But that one is going to end up getting down in left field, and they're going to have trouble out there in left field. And Gurriel has a one-out double for our first base hit of this ball game. Now, we could have found a way to get Conforto on. We could have had men on second and third. A good job right there. Had a way to stay back on it just enough. I think we were a little bit out in front on that one, but Gurriel getting a good base hit right there. That brings up Randy Rosarena, who had a fantastic day last time out. Ended up with three RBIs, a home run that got everything going. And he sends this one out there to right field. Back goes the right fielder. Still going back. And he is at the wall. And he crashes into the wall. This is going to end up being a triple. And it'll bring home the first run of the ball game. Randy Arena still doing damage versus the Atlanta Braves. Let's go. Arena just missed a two-run home run. Had one in the last game. But he comes through right here. Sends that two-seam fastball almost out of this ballpark in the right fielder. Having issues. Probably should have let Acuna probably get that one. And now to bring up Javier Baez. Did not have a base hit in that last game, but he's looking to turn things around here if, if possible. See if he can bring home the second run. And oh, that is the last thing we wanted was a pop up. Oh, man. We can't bring him home as Freddie Freeman is there for the second out here in this inning. Thank you, Javier. 
And we go down to get one. McCann launches one to left field. It's going to clank off the bottom portion of the wall. McCann trying to get in there for a double. He would slide in there before the tag. It's a 2-0 ball game, and they're already bringing up the pitching coach because they know the Atlanta Braves season is on the line. As they're down 2-0 right now and could be coming to, down 2-0 in this series. We still got a long way to go, but it's looking good right now for the Mets. And the way Syndergaard has settled in, I'm liking our chances. The 0-2 from Syndergaard. It's crushing the right center fielder. Rosa Arena is not going to be able to get to that one in time. It'll one hop the wall, and it is going to be a ground rule double. And I have a one out. And one out. For NC Arte coming up to bat in Freddie Freeman. We have to get some uh, better pitching this time. Well, that's not what we wanted that change up, but we'll take the ground out. He does move over to third base with Freddie Freeman coming up to bat. Hopefully we can fare better versus Freeman and not give up a double this time. If we do that this time, he'll end up with a run in the RBI. And that's going to be a grounder. Jeff McNeil has it. He has plenty of time. The spin throw is going to be in time. And that's going to do it for the top half of the third. We strand Castro at third base. It remains a 2-0 ball game. Let's see if we can add on here in our bottom half as our lineup turns around. And Lindor launches one. Left field. Back goes the left fielder. It's going to be another ball to clank off that let's go Mets yellow sign out there. And Lindor is on with a one-out double. We'll take it as Pete Alonzo is coming up to bat. You're kind of starting to tee off a little bit on Jordan Montgomery. Man, got a couple balls fly out there to left field. If they just had a little bit of height on them, they would have been up out of here for home runs. It'll be another 0-2 to Alonzo. He'll weakly ground that one over to Moncada at third base. Having to go back as Lindor because if he would have went to third, he would have been tagged out. And him, Moncada would be able to throw out Pete Alonzo at first base. Almost was able to beat that one out. Moncada kind of had to stretch and find a way to throw it over there. But he just gets it by a step. And that'll bring up Michael Conforto to see if he can give us our third run of the ball game. And he'll perfect hit that one in the left center field. That one has the height. And that one is not coming back. Michael Thomas Conforto with a two-run blast, and it's a 4-0 ball game. Forget being 3-0. It's a 4-0 ball game. Conforto sending one out there to left center field. I told you guys, we found a way to get some height on these. This ball is going to carry up out of here, and it did exactly that. Great job, Michael Conforto. Great stuff, big dog. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. Price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy, power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Yes, that's exactly what he did. Gurriel back at the bat had a double in his first plate appearance, and that ball is well inside. Montgomery definitely probably starting to lose that confidence, and yeah, it's pretty low up there. And here we go. Will really he get something here on three and one? And he's gonna end up hitting the strike zone, but the umpire is not giving him the call. The umpire, not the umpire, but the manager for the Braves is pissed off. He is not happy. You no, know, Montgomery's not happy. But it'll be a two out walk for us with Randy or Rosarena coming up to bat. And a Rosarena so far has torched the Braves here in this one. Has a home run. Has a triple in this series. Got the triple in this game, and he hasn't got out yet. And that pitch will be inside. And oh, that's going to be the first time they get a Rosarena to get out. And man, they, he's looking at that cutter. Mm, we were underneath it. We had good timing on it. If he, <laughs> We would have had good placement with that PCI. He's looking at that ball. He was coming back. Because that one could have been torched. But Conforto does torch one. And it extends our lead. 4-0 heading to the fourth inning. Now can we find a way to strike him out here? The 2-2 two -two to Ozuna. And he'll launch one into left center field. Boy, left center field is seeing a lot of action out there. A Rosarena gets it into the cutoff man, and it'll be a one-out double. The one-two from Senegal looking for the punch out. And oh, that is a hanging slider left field. That is going to score the first run of the ball game for the Atlanta Braves. Guerrier was not able to get out there in time. The throw is not in time to second base. They're kind of a little slow on uh, trying to get that ball out of the glove, but... All right, that's going to put up them another double, and it's now a 4-1 ball game. And that one is smoked in the right field, where they test the Alma Conforto. Travis Dayarno is going home. The throw was up the line and moving into second base as always. And the Braves have cut this lead down in half. 
It is now a 4-2 ball game in the top of the fourth. The center guard is starting to get starting to teed off a little bit here, man. The slider has just not worked out well for him. That will bring up Jordan Montgomery right now, so hopefully this will be able to put the fire out here in this inning. And that will be lifted in the right field. Conforto is going to be able to get there in time. He has the final out here in the top of the fourth. But not before the Braves tack on, too. They're not trying to go away just yet. Hopefully, our offense can keep it rolling up. Well, let's see if he walks in the guard. He's in a nice 3-1 count here. I have a feeling if he does, it could end the day for Montgomery. And we'll, we'll see. Although, he only needs one more out here in this inning. And yeah, they'll leave him out there. All right, Jeff Minier, let's see what you can do here. 0 for 2 on the day. You can find a way to get on base. We can really get something going here in this bottom of the fourth for two outs. That be in there. That, hey, that's probably the best pitch he may have thrown all day long. Painting the black with that one. And an 0-2 was kind of blooped out there in the right center field. Acuna is able to get there in time to end our fourth inning. Great run down by Acuna. Here comes the top of the lineup for the Braves yet again. And that ball torch right center field. Willie Castro has a solo shot home run. And the Braves are not out of it just yet. It's a 4-3 ball game. His first home run of the postseason. And man, Senegal, man, he just be getting teed off on sometimes. Like, I don't get it. Like, that was not a bad pitch. He went down and got a sinker. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that did get out just because, you know, the PCI location wasn't dead in the middle on a sinker pitch like that. And it was kind of tucked away inside, but... Oh well, the Braves are not out of it just yet. Well, clearly they're not out of it. It's only one run ball game, but yeah. Syndergaard, man, we need you to find it. The pitch count's getting high. This is definitely your last inning. We need you to figure it out right now. No more runs. You can't give those up anymore, Dave. Come on. And getting the strike out of Syndergaard, we'll take it out of way to bounce back. And we'll be able to throw him out at first base. That'll be the first out of the top of the fifth. And now we'll see if we can get a strike out on Acuna. The one-two. Oh my God, no! And it is a misplaced curveball. It is a tie ball game, just like that. A 4-0 lead is wiped away thanks to Ronald Acuna and company. Holy moly, Syndergaard, man. What has gotten into you, dude? It's not how Cy Young is supposed to act, man. Come on. And that one is popped into left center field. Guriel can't get there in time. Grounding for second base is Azuna. Not a great throw by Rosarena. He could have got it. He was a little off balance when he threw it. And that is yet another double for Ozuna. And my goodness, Syndergaard, dude. You are just imploding these last couple of innings. And there we go. He's finally able to get out of his fifth inning. Moncada, for whatever reason, man, he just does not play. I mean, he doesn't play. I mean, he's kind of, he can be like that in real life, too. But nine hits, Syndergaard. Nine hits and four runs, dude. That is unacceptable. Jordan Montgomery is actually having a better game than you are right now, dude. You are getting teed off left and right. Your day is over with. And, I mean, if we do end up scoring a run in the bottom of the fifth, great. But you are you are not deserving of a win so far. And, oh, and just like that, we get the lead right back. Frankie Lindor sends one over the wall. It's a 5-4 ball game. Let's go. 427. A no-doubt home run. Lindor just inserted back into the lineup. It's going to be hard to figure out how to do a lineup, man. We got so many batters that we need to be able to play. But we'll take it, Lindor. That's what I'm talking about. 2021 postseason debut. He's hitting a home run. And Guriel is going to left center field as well. It is now a 6-4 ball game. The ball is leaving the park left and right here in New York. 420. Guriel's first home run of the postseason. And you love to see it in the offense. Just not going to go away. We're not going away. We are getting that lead right back. And we'll gladly take it. It's now a two-run ball game yet again. Bringing up Randy or Rosarena. Had a feeling Guriel had an opportunity to do that. Let's get it, big dog. Big dog, big nuts. We're watching an impressive power display today. With that one, these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game. Matty V, this is turning into home run derby part two. Dero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. He's working on a one. And that ball is launching the right center field. It's going to end up hitting off the wall. Yet another ball. Oh, boy, we really, really misplayed that one. And it's going to end up being a triple. Wow. We really misplayed that one coming off the wall. 
I just wasn't even looking at the white line. Like, literally, the white line is telling us where this ball is going to end up being at, and we just do not do anything with it. And, yep, no surprise here. That's going to end up doing it for their starting pitcher, Jordan Montgomery. Surprised he lasted this long. I mean, really. It's a high fastball right there. Got to find a way to strike out Swanson or get him to pop up. And a 2-2, and an umpire doesn't give us the call. That may have been slightly inside, but the way he's been miscalling stuff, to me, that looked like that's in the zone. He's got to give us that. That should have been a strikeout. The 3-2 now, and it's going to be a fly ball in the right field. Conforto is going to be there. Don't know if Conforto will be able to make the throw. And the throw is not going to be in time. The ball just kept traveling back. So we were trying to line it up to where he kind of get a run throw, but... It just the ball just kind of kept carrying back, and then at that point, it was just too late to be able to move back. That'll bring up Willie Castro, who has went deep in this one. And that's the pop-up we were looking for last at bat. Alonzo was there, and that'll do it for the top half of the six. It's a 6 5 ball game, Braves chip away yet again. And Ender Enciarte will lead them off here in this inning. The top of the seven. First pitch is in there. Pomerantz, need you to get through a couple guys, man. We need you to get through him. We're glad to take a two pitch out. And now we need you to get Freddie Freeman out. Yeah, we needed we needed a lefty bit to get these two guys out. Hopefully, Pomerantz can do that just for us. That's why we kept him in the ball game as this one is launched. Center field, a Rosarena back up the wall, and he cannot bring it back. Freeman sends one over the wall. Second base hit of the ball game, first of the postseason on a home run. Well, his first home run, first postseason home run, and it ties the ball game yet again. Well, wasn't a bad pitch. He just goes down there and gets it. I mean, my goodness, like, how? <laughs> like, how? How was that a home run? And another ball crushed by Ozuna. That one's going to end up clinking off the bottom portion of the wall. Conforto is there to grab it. And four for four day to Ozuna. We're not pitching this dude again, dude. Like, my God. He is hitting it. Like, how? How was that a double? Ankata is a guy we've had pretty good success so far versus him all season long. Hopefully we end up keeping that up. He's down in the 0-2 hole. Come on, Familiar, man. Let's get him out of here. The 0-2. That is a hanging curve. I mean, it's not curveball, but a splitter. A, zoom, a Rosarena back at the wall. And it is gone, and we are down two runs. Holy crap, dude. They are, that was a bad splitter. I'll give him that. That was terrible. That was hanging. But my goodness, dude. What in the world is going on in this ballgame? It's been like eight home runs. Thank you. Finally out of this seven. My God, dude. Sheesh. Bullpen, man. The, the whole pitching stat today has been brutal. The full count to Pete Alonzo here. And it's going to miss inside. That'll bring up Michael Conforto. But, man, on first and second. We might have something going on here in the bottom of the seventh. And they will bring in another pitcher. It'll be Carl Edwards Jr., who we have struggled with in the past. Well, I think we've seen him like maybe twice. Oh, we didn't do too well against. Actually, I think one time we did good, and the other time we we did like the first time we saw him was really really bad. But hopefully Conforto can do something here. He's got the lefty matchup, lefty righty matchup. See if Conforto can do some damage. And he'll send one left field. Back goes the left fielder, still going back, and that ball is going to end up dropping or not dropping. It's going to end up being caught. Runners will move, well, we have one runner. Lindor will move up to third base. And that'll bring up Guriel, who will need to find a way to get a base hit here. We'll one to Guriel. And Guriel comes through with a base knock. That'll put men on first and second, and it'll cut this game down to one. Thank you, Lord, is Guriel Jr. That'll bring up Randy Rosarena, who's been pretty big so far this series. Hopefully he can keep it going. Guriel, another base hit. This is third of the ball game. The 0-2 to the Rose Arena. And oh my God, he threw a hanging curveball and we missed it. We missed it terribly. I think we were even late on that. Wow. I don't know, man. My goodness, my. You shouldn't be celebrating at all, dude. You got lucky as crap. And that wasn't a three-run bomb. That is a weak grounder. Javier Baez is there. Strong throw and he's going to get him out. We're headed to the bottom of the eighth. Still down one. This game ain't over yet. We got two winners. Find a way to get two runs and win this ball game. Dominic Smith has came in to pinch hit for the Casey. We're gonna see if he can do something. He's got a one-on -oh count. And he'll send one out there to left field. The left fielder is gonna be there. 
That'll be the final out here in the bottom of the eighth. We got one inning to try and get one run, possibly two runs. I don't know. And that'll be a grounder. I know Lindor can't handle it. All right, Lindor, you got to be kidding me. Acuna's going for second. The throw from a Rosarena is piss poor. My God, dude. That's an error on Lindor. I know it was smoke. It doesn't matter. You got to be able to get the glove down there, dude. You got to. And then a bad throw from a Rosarena. Rosarena, you could have got him out. You had time. Nah, man. Nah. We, I told you, we ain't pitching to Azuna again, dude. F you. One, two will be ripped into right field, and that one is going to end up clinking off the wall. It'll play home a Rosarena. Uh, not a Rosarena, but a Cunha. My goodness. Lindor there comes back to bite us. It's a 9-7 ball game. For whatever reason, Moncada can now hit against us. He's got two extra base hits in his last two plate appearances. I don't even know if he's had a hit on us this entire season. And Peter Alonzo will get the final out on the top of the ninth. We're down to our final outs. Three outs. We got to score three runs to win it. Two runs to send it to extra innings. Honestly, not too confident in these boys. But normally, McNeil can kind of spark our offense. But, man, he keeps he getting in trouble. He's down in the 0-2 count yet again. And he'll strike out for the third time today. That was a good slider below the knees. Will Smith. Easy guy. Easy. It was easy. <laughs> and that is a ground of Moncada is there. And that'll be out number two as he gets Lindor. The 2-2 two, two, to Alonzo. And that one will get, uh, it's going to get knocked. Of course, of course. Why would his not get knocked down? Why wouldn't his find the wall out there like Freddie Freeman's did? Why wouldn't his get by him like it did to Lindor? Why not? Because you know why? Because the game was BSing right now. The game in easily wanted the Braves to find a way to get this win and tie up this series. And that's fine because we're going to go down there to Atlanta and kick their asses. We're going to take the series down there. We're going to have to take the series there anyway if we wanted to sweep them. So we'll just go down there and take two. That's no problem. Piss poor day from the pitching staff. I mean, my goodness, man. Syndergaard, you had a very, very bad day. Whoever ends up getting the loss, familiar, honestly, you didn't deserve it. If anything, Syndergaard, you deserve this loss more than anybody of that pitching staff. I mean, you guys just did terrible. Like, all of you guys. I mean, I think every single one of them that came in there just absolutely flat out did terrible. This was not a good day from the starter to the bullpen. Just awful. Awful. You guys, I want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If y'all did enjoy it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. This New York Mets series and more. Got to find a way to bounce back. Got to take care of business in Atlanta. We do not want to be headed back to New York with this series being tied up in a winner-take-all situation on that Thursday game. So find a way to find a way. Hopefully, you know, get these two wins down in there. We'll see how everything shapes out. 1-1 in each National League series. We'll go ahead and send to see, you know, if anything comes up of the American League. Who knows when the worst going on with that. And, yeah, the Yankees have taken 2-0 versus the Twins, and the Angels have tied it up with the with the Astros. So, catch you guys in the next one. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button once again. Subscribe if you are new. I'm out to next time, everybody. Hope you guys do stay safe out there. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Close it out, future. And it's the love from my fans got me still here